it's a hassling close system and it comes right off look at that this is your ams combo just right on top like that voila make sure you take this play off before you you use it it's running you can see it's doing its thing it's printing so once you load this in the app actually picks it up and here we're showing how on that one. We're doing the red one. easy and versatile the app is very responsive the items that we have printed so far and we don't have the machine about one week welcome to another unboxing review and in today's review i'm going to share with you the bamboo lab p1 series combo it's a 3d printer and it's a popular mainstream 3d printer it's not just any 3d printer this is one of the easiest use um, type of 3d printer you can get and i tell you what it was hard to get a whole one this christmas or this holiday because they're sold out everywhere we were on the email list for notification and we didn't get one we just constantly check probably four or five times a day and finally saw it was value on best buy and ordered it and this i believe this is a chinese brand but um based in texas but manufactured course in china look how nice it's packed you got the foam of course and this machine weighs about 34 pounds it's about 15 by 15 by 27 inch so make sure you have room room wherever you gonna put it oh the nice thing about this print is it's enclosed for a high temperature printing and Oh, this bad boy is pretty heavy. It has a 500 MMS material management system. So it does very efficient at printing. Uh, I believe you can do a bench is staying in 15 minutes. So it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and micro SD slot. It has an enclosed system so that when you print it, it doesn't smell fumes and everything flying around your bedroom or wherever you put in your office or 3d prints came a long way over years they have improved quite a bit so we finally decided to pull the trigger and get one because from the reviews this is pretty user friendly and we want some to you know easy use because this is pretty much for the the kids the family the wife um, they're going to be using it and this is some that um, it's a Christmas gift to the family. You got your manual. And then all these tape off. Look at the lid. Look at that guys. Wow. Heavy duty lid. I believe it's made out of glass almost. Look at that. You got your cord, power cord. Looks like your print head, your guy system, a remote control or LCD screen, PDF manual. And look like all your maintenance stuff for the printer is here. Maybe camera and Allen wrench. Came with an orange filament, green. You know, glass. Your power button, your power cord goes here. Came with three filaments. Not sure what color this is. This is probably black, green, and orange. I'm gonna open this lid here. And this is where your your combo comes off i think this is locked in here okay. so we're gonna go ahead and take this ams combo out to do this you loosen these you came with allen wrenches here so you can loosen this 
and then it lets you take out the AMS combo. And it comes right off, look at that. This is your AMS combo. And look at all the hoses in there. And you can buy the unit without this. And I believe it just works manually, individually. But with the AMS combo, you can feed four different, looks like four different colors. Just right on top like that, voila. Make sure you take this play off before you, you use it. And it just these arrows like earlier, from taking out the AMS cartridge, you got these screws here and you just take it off. The arrow tell you there's screws there and you just take it off on all the screws. Like that. Okay. And you got all these foam here, you gotta take off here. So. Looks like you take this off here. So I uh, recommend guys is make sure this, you know, 3D printer produces a lot of film, right? Cause you got plastic, you're dealing with plastic. So I recommend putting it where, you know, you have a, a decent amount of airflow. Cause you don't, it, you might, you know, get sick and stuff. So uh, we decided not to put in the bedroom out here in the living room. All right, we got the machine hooked up. You guys can see it working. It's pretty quiet. You can't smell the fume. Of course, we're just making a little fidget right now. I know there's a lot of uh, shadow and stuff, but you can see there's an LED light in there. It's pretty neat. Super quiet. Um, well, it's actually a fan in there too to keep it cool. That plate lifts up and down. But you can see, again, 500 MS, management system, printing system. That bad boy's just going on and on. But I like how there's an LED light in there. And you can see the, the filament here, just feeding. Again, this can hold up to four different colors. So once you load this in, the app actually picks it up has sensors in there and it lets you know once you load the filament in there and then the actual register it will pick it up here in the app we have the actually the bamboo brain filament and this is a different brand so one thing i want to share with you guys is that if you buy the name brand bamboo ligament actually the 3d printer will register the filament but if you buy a non-brand bamboo filament you actually have to manually input it into your uh, app here and once you do it it, re it recognize it so we're having issues trying to figure out why it's not recognized but that's once we figure it out that's how it works and here we're showing how that one. You're doing the red one. easy okay. and versatile the app is very responsive start and that's it wow so easy now do you guys upload your 3d software and everything in it it just sends it to it uh, and you can see here there's a light it's heating up right now it's in the in the printer area that's nice so you can see and then here's the lcd screen and it tells you it's heating up. Downloading the app looks like it, heating and it's heating up. Once it got up to temp and uh, downloading the software, it started. But of course, it has to align it, right? It has to align it, and then it has to get up to temperature. And also, one thing we had ran to an issue was the plate was kind of off, so the the 3D printer recognized if your plate's off. Uh, it checks for the X, X and Y axis before it starts. And then also you want to make sure every time uh, you run the 3D printer to clean the head, you say, right? 
because it had issues with it not starting because of that too. So you always, always got to clean it from our understanding now. <clears throat> but here is it's in action. Look at that. Another cool thing is it has a camera in there, guys. Can you bring that up yep. real quick? It has a camera in there. It shows you. So let's say if you're at, you know, you're not at home. You're at the office working. You can actually check on your project while it's printing, if anything's hap happen. But here, yeah, look at that. Pretty neat, huh? And then you can shut off the LED light if you want to on the app. You just turn it off on the app here. Again, the app is very, very, you see that? See, and you can turn it back on, right? But the app is very versatile, very, it's very uh, responsive. It's running, you can see it's doing its thing, it's printing. It's very quiet, it has a very smooth sound to it. I was afraid it's gonna be loud and you can't smell the fume as of right now. I'm, I'm sure maybe later when it, you start having a bigger, you know, 3D print. But as of right now, it's a very, very relaxed, uh, feeling quiet. Um, you know, it doesn't smell to have this in your bedroom because of the fume. Microplastic is still flying around. Now you can see that, look at that. It's just so, so smooth. It, and again, it, 3D printers have come a long way, guys. Have come a long way. And I'm glad we waited this long before we purchased one because in the beginning I heard you have all kind of issues. You have to really, really babysit it to actually make or uh, print a 3D object. But now, has come a long way with all the AI technology, everything, temperature, sensors, all built into it. But we recommend the product so far. And these are the items that we have printed so far. And we don't have a machine about one week. We printed some checker. Here you guys can see a hand that actually holds a uh, PS1 or PS5 uh, controller. You got a drag in here. And, um, a little fidget we first this was the first one we printed this it was a tester you can actually feel how the plastic's very sturdy um here's a little name tag uh, for stock and stuffer um and then spider man here this one was kind of difficult because you actually had to put them all together um like Lego pieces so but this dragon was actually it printed out and you didn't actually have to assemble it and it was just, it was just printed like that so that was pretty cool it was the second one we printed out we're excited again this is probably one of the uh, most user-friendly 3d printer out there once we get to feel it once we start to use it uh, we'll probably make more videos for you guys you can pretty much make anything the sky's the limit and this bat boy is, um, you know, it's gonna keep the family busy for a while, you know? So, okay, until next unboxing review, take care and see you in the next video.